first line, Giampaolo Manzella from Region Lazio. Just two words, just a welcome. Uh, just because uh, I, I remember, I, I just tell you this and then we start. Um, I remember with Nicola Zingaretti, just come here in the middle. Uh, we did one of the first internet week many years ago to launch Wi-Fi, so uh, it was always a uh, big interest by Nicola Zingaretti that is not here today, so I think it was interesting. So, first of all, I bring you his greetings. Uh, the president is uh, uh, taken by some uh, uh, engagements dealing with an emergency we have with waste management, which is one of the big problems of, of this, this area. I want to just to make you an overview for a lot of people who come uh, from outside of what, in my view, as a person who is uh, dealing with innovation and creativity in this city, in this area for the last uh, years, what is happening. Um, well, my view is that uh, the global, what is called the global startup revolution is in uh, uh, Rome. Is in Rome, but is uh, uh, in a way a bit shyly in Rome. It's in Rome because there are, we have uh, incubators, we have universities that have starts program on that, we have startups who are, who are starting to win prizes uh, around, uh, around the world or around Europe or for sure around Italy. We have got that for the first time venture capital funds and business angels are started, starting looking at Italy. I remember speaking with my venture capital friends about 10 years ago and they would say we never look at a deal below Florence. And now people are start looking at, at Rome. So I think that there are a lot of things moving in, uh, in, in this area. But I said shyly. And this, I, in a way, is where I think that the role of the public can come. That is to help this system, this ecosystem, to strengthen up and to overcome, the way, in a way, the shyness of, uh, of, 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 of the, the, the circumstances. What, what we want to do. I think that we want to move to work on three aspects. The first one is people. The second one is enterprises helping startups. And the third thing is locations, people. We have just uh, taken into account that the new regional government has been uh, working for the last six months. We have set up a startup uh, commission whose task will be exactly to uh, give advice to the government of the region on which laws to enact, which programs are the best suited for the uh, Roman ecosystem, which are the examples in Europe that are most suited for our um, uh, circumstance, for our, for our uh, ecosystem. The second thing is actually tailoring uh, financial services, financial instruments for startups. Uh, we have uh, retrieved European funds that were in a, in a way without a proper target. We are redirecting it to startups. A, a first, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a first, uh, uh, I thought it was a protest. <laughs> uh, a first round of financing is coming out in, in, the, in, the, in the next 20 days for 5 million. Probably that could be uh, make, made bigger to 20, to 20 million. Third thing is that we're looking up for locations. Locations of the regions that now they don't have a specific identity that possibly could be turned into places where research, business, universities, great enterprises, uh, people working in the culture of uh, innovation uh, possibly could meet and actually trigger this interdisciplinary um, relationship which is at the basis of, of, a, proper, of a proper ecosystem. Why we do it? I think that we do it uh, for a number of reasons. The first th thing is that we think that there is a real opportunity for Rome in this. There is an opportunity, first of all, to reposition our city and our region. In the last, comp in the last uh, uh, report from the European Commission on uh, competitiveness, Lazio is struggling, and I think that uh, moving into this ecosystem, into this startup, into the new business model, de business development, will be uh, a thing to do. Second, because it's something which speaks at young people. And Rome is a university city, even though we never think about that, because university is in the middle of a huge city, but it's a great city of university and research, so there is a lot of human capital that can be, uh, that can be uh, motivated and, and act on it. Then I think we have a lot of public services to improve. 
Think about the fact that Rome is the head in the center of the national administration on top of the local one. So there is a lot of demand that uh, can be satisfied if we are acting uh, to improve its quality. And finally, there is the Mediterranean scene. Rome is naturally positioned to actually become a place where people and energy from the Mediterranean can find a place where to flourish, make their, their idea flourish. Obviously, there, there is a big effort for us to do into that. I think that probably 60 or 70% of the speeches on innovation think, uh, end on this connecting dots metaphor. Uh, my idea is that this connecting dot metaphor is something that helps us in the first place because whatever stupid thing we do, then in the end we hope that there will be a final uh, design where it, this stupid thing will have a, 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 a reason. But uh, I think that Rome is actually slowing, slowly increasing its connecting dots. What President Melandri told you makes you understand that this place is a connecting dot. It's a dot that is connecting with macro, is connecting with Pelanda, is connecting with auditorium, is connecting to transform this, the cultural places of this city and slowly transform the idea that this city is a city of the ancient uh, ages and, and turn this into a city that can be fully into the modern, modern times. I think that to break the shyness I was speaking uh, about this before, uh, a work of shareholders is needed. A work of a lot of people is needed. And I think that TechCrunch helps this. So I really hope that next year Rome will be chosen again by TechCrunch. And I really hope that we as public administration could be able next year to show you some of the concrete advances that after one year and a half we will be able to do. Thank you very much.